My name is Crystal. I have worked for the Ramsey County Emergency Communications Center for five years, coming in April, and I am a public safety dispatcher. My job is important because a lot of people depend on us for our help and assistance in any capacity. We help anything from, you know, bicycle theft to, you know, my dad's not breathing, and anything in between is important to someone, and that's important to me. And if it helps someone out, that makes the day go by so much better, and it makes me feel good. I had a call once where a child was lost, and he only had a 9 room cell phone. And the child was so distraught. And seven years old, you lost your parents. I mean, that's your mainstay. You're seven years old. You have no idea where you are in a mall full of people, can't find your parents. And to be able to have the child just stay put, keep talking to him, have a partner call mall security so that mall security could find the child and they were re reunited with their parents. It's a pretty good feeling when you just made a seven-year-old's day. People should remember that 911 is used for emergency purposes. If that is your only way to call us, great. Use it. Utilize it. That's what we're here for. We're here for you to help you in any capacity. You're always calling us on your worst day, never your best day. Just remember to use it for emergency, car fires, medical emergencies, stuff of that nature. But again, if you're calling it because that is the only way, that is the only number you know, feel free to use it. We'll get you to the right place. We'll get you the right help that you need. What can be difficult are when people call up not knowing where they are or screaming so much, and we understand when you're when you're calling anyone, when you are calling us on your worst day, when you're screaming and you're yelling into the phone and we're trying to get an address from you, that's our number one concern. Where are you? And if you're not giving us that information and you just keep screaming and we have to try to calm you down and have you focus on our voice, on our questions, it is so difficult because we are racing time of the essence in a lot of our calls. And if we can't get that address from you, that this makes it that much more difficult for us to get you that help that you need and that you deserve. Besides the location and where you're at, which is the most important thing, if you are in a, a medical situation, any, are you involved with an accident? Are you involved with the accident? How many people are there? Are there any weapons? Anything from a stick to a baseball bat to a gun to a knife, we need to know that information. We need to keep our, our medical people safe. We need to keep the citizens safe. We need to keep you safe. We need to know these things to keep everyone safe. You never know when a situation's going to, to change. Hence, accidents happen out of nowhere. No one plans it. No one plans for a situation to change. Your father may still be breathing. We let you go. He's not breathing anymore. You now got to take that extra time to call 911 and get put through to the EMS personnel. Valuable time that was wasted by us letting you go or an in-progress call of, say, a robbery. I need to keep you on the phone. I need to know that you're the safe one. I need to make sure that I tell the officers the gentleman in the red shirt on the cell phone is one of the good guys. If I keep you on the phone, I'm getting that in-progress information from you that can be the determining factor if we get the bad guy or not. We have, in fact, we have another guy who calls us from out of state, I believe, to tell us what a good job we're doing. And believe me, we don't get a lot of calls to tell us just randomly what a great job we're doing and how much he appreciates us. And this fella is from out of state. But he makes sure that he calls up to the Ramsey County Emergency Communications Center to let whoever he's talking to know that, talking to know that we're doing a great job and and really glad that you were out there helping people and you let your officers and, and all your, your call takers know that you're doing a great job and, and to bless them. And it, it just makes you feel good out of you know the, the hundreds of calls you've been yelled at that day that this one guy who took his time out of his day just to call and say thanks, it's, it's pretty cool. Thanks.